Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and today I'll teach you how to draw the spiral in Affinity Designer that is similar to the logo of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. So first we go to File and we create a new document, and we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click Create. And then we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that snapping is enabled and also snap to guides. And then we take the ellipse tool, we set the fill to known, we leave the fill as black, and then we set the stroke width to 4 pixels. And then we go ahead and we draw an ellipse, and we give it 800 by 800 pixels in dimensions. And then we take the move tool, and we center the ellipse on the vertical axis. And here we set the y-axis to 800 pixels. So now we have the first circle in position, so we can start duplicating it. So in order to do so, we go here to enable transform origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. So we are going to need six circles overall. So that means that each circle needs to be spaced by 60 degrees. So we press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And here in the transform panel, we set the rotation angle to 60 degrees. Now we have the second circle. So we press Ctrl J again and again until we have six circles overall. So now we have all the elements in the figure that we need. So we press Ctrl A to select all the elements. And now we are going to start drawing the branches of the spiral. We are going to do it with the Shape Builder tool. So we select the Shape Builder tool. We set the action to plus and here clean up to known. We go ahead and we draw the branches of the spiral. So it goes like this from the center to the outside. So there are going to be six overall. Now we have the spiral, so now we can add some colors to it with the vector float peel tool. We select the color that we want and we start filling it. So we have added colors to the figure, so now the spiral is complete. So learn how to draw a spiral in Affinity Designer that is similar to the logo of OpenAI. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!